Okay, so this is the um, the tutorial for Northern Wind. Um, somebody did request it, but uh, it was actually on the list of the next song, although I haven't actually got a list. Um, but uh, I figured out how to play the song, so I thought I would do the tutorial for it. Um, testing a new method of recording, which hopefully will improve sound quality. The only downside is the microphone cannot pick up my voice when it's picking up the guitar and I've got to put it down to play the guitar but then when I go to um, actually pick it up I can't hold it and strum at the same time so um, hopefully this is a slightly more improved version of, uh, of any of the tutorials um, but um, we'll see how it goes anyway so what I'm going to do is, um, is start by playing uh, the song and then go on to explain it. Um, the other thing I've done actually is move into the spare bedroom which is a tiny room which hopefully will help with uh, recording sound because uh, the other room is pretty big and I think the sound just dissipates into the abyss so um, we'll try and see how this goes. So here we go, I'll put the microphone down I'll play some Okay, so that was the uh, basics of the song anyway. Um, the the main chords is what I'm going to explain. There's a lot of hammer-ons in the song, some of which I can pick up, others which um, I don't think are that important if you're just wanting to play the song. They're not critical, I must admit, so um, I wouldn't be too concerned that I haven't taught you how to do them or that you can't figure them out. Um, as I say, as long as you can play the basic chords, you should be fine. So then, to accept uh, explain to you the chords. Um, I'm going to move this a bit closer and cut my head out. Um, the the intro for the song is basically um, revolves around two chords, which is the G shaped chord with an open E string. Um, and what you want to do is put your um, ring finger on the B string at the third, and then you've got the bass notes of a G chord. So you've got your uh, index finger on the A string at the second, and then you've got your middle finger, which is on the E string, at the third. And all together, I'll try and play this with my. Um, I'll try and play this somehow. Here we go. Um, so it should sound uh, like that, basically. Um, so that's your first chord. Um, you're probably going to ask how to do the picking pattern, um, sorry, the strumming pattern. Um, I can't really explain in terms of down, up, down, up what the strumming pattern is. It's mainly a case if I play it, um, try and produce from it what you can. Um, but I'll go on to explain it in a second. So, first chord then, like we say, is G. Then 
The next chord is an E minor. So an E minor, for people who don't know to play, you've got your two fingers, index, and your middle finger, and they go on the uh, A string and the D string at the second. So then to explain the strumming pattern, as I said I would, um, it's basically I'll play it as slow as I can and you can pick up from it um, what you want and see how you get on. So here we go. Um, so that is the, the basic pattern for the intro anyway. Um, it sounds like somebody on drugs, I think, playing it that slow. But um, So that's the first part of the song anyway. So we'll go on from that to the verse. So the verse starts with um, a G chord again. Same G chord. So it'll go... So this chord here for beginners, um, or people who don't know what it is or called, it's a B minor. B minor, you have to bar this second fret fully, and um, you need to play the shape of an A minor. So, um, so what you want to do is bar the second fret. You need to put your middle finger on the B string at now the, the um, third fret. Then you need to put your uh, index finger and your pinky finger on the fourth fret on the the um, the D and the G string. So together it'll sound like this. So from that B minor, you then go on to the C chord. The C chord again. For who don't know how to play. You've got your index finger on the B string at the first. You have got your middle finger on this string, the D string at the second, and then you've got your ring finger on the A string at the third. Um, so you go straight from the B minor to the C chord, and then what you want to do is play the E chord again. E minor, sorry. And then you go back to the C again, so this is what it sounds like. So from that B minor you go to C, then you go to E minor, then you go to C, and then you go to D. So again, D for people who don't know to play, index finger on the G string at the second, um, then you've got your middle finger on the E string at the second, and then you've got your uh, ring finger here on the B string third and that's your next chord and then once you've played this you then go back to a full G major chord with your pinky finger on the E string so all together it will sound like this So that's the verse. Then you, when you've got to the verse, um, this last chord that you play on the verse, G, you then lead for the chorus into E minor. So it'll go.
So for that section there then what you're doing is just basically alternating between the G chord I'm sorry, yeah, you can start with the G chord and lead into the chorus with the E minor. Again, I've shown you how to play E minor already, so you don't need to learn that again. So you go from E minor, and then you go back into the standard open G shape chord with the open E string. And that's all you do. Play between those two. Um, if you want to stick a transition chord, then you can go from E minor, move this index finger to the top E string, play at the second fret and then go back into your G so I'll go and that's kind of if you want to I don't I don't think it adds much to the song if you don't want to do it and I don't think it's even in the song if you did want to do it but um, if you want to mix it up a little bit then throw it in I guess um, so that's the chorus sorted. So then once you've played um, all the times that you need to between the E minor and the G, you then come to the last part of the chorus, which you then hold C. And then you go back into the alternation between the G. G and the E minor and then that takes you back to the, the intro and then you go into the next verse and then when you get to the end of the song you get back to the chorus and you end up holding C that section gets repeated twice and then you go back into the intro again so all he's doing here is playing the C chord like I have showed you before but sliding the whole shape now up um, a whole a whole kind of set. So you're now playing between the third and the fifth fret. Same finger pattern uh, positioning and everything, but just moved up, and that gets repeated twice. And then it cuts off, and then you go back into the. And then that's pretty much the song um, summarised, really. As I say, there's quite a lot of hammer-ons and things you don't necessarily need to know. Um, and hopefully it's been easier to understand how to play the song. Um, next time, I should have a better webcam. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, see when it gets here and see if it's any better than the one I've got at the moment, which is pretty crap. Um, but if you've got any comments questions, um, send us a message or leave a comment and uh, I'll try and help anybody out who's stuck, um, but thanks.